So Mick, it's early April on the Eden and we've been waiting for hatches that were a bit sporadic at times. We've had like a variety of methods on the go, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. And your method has been the most successful, not only with numbers of fish, but size of fish. So what have you been fishing? I've just been fishing North Country spider. well, what most people call North Country spiders. I still refer it to it as wet fly. Yeah. Just the old, uh, age old method in yeah. this part of the British Isles anyway. It's kind of fallen out of favour in many respects, hasn't it? It has very much. People are into nymphing a lot and we get you, this time of year, the lads will sit all day, pure dry fly lads, but it still has its day and it has its times. Quite often on a sparse day like today, you yeah, can search a bit it. of water. So Mick, how are you making this leader up? What length of leader have you got and the spacings between The you? leader's generally 0.14 nylon, not too fussed about the breaking strain more the diameter, mm -hmm. uh, five foot from the fly line to the top dropper, three and a half foot to another dropper, and then about three and a half foot to the tail fly, which is slightly weighted, the tail fly, quite often, except in the middle of the summer, when, when you can't get away with a weighted fly. Yeah, you were saying that that weighted point fly just helps as a bit of an anchor when you're putting your men's in, which I hadn't thought about, exactly, which makes I a lot of sense. Exactly, so, yes. yes. Uh, it's not heavily weighted, not tungsten, just four, four laps of quite thin lead wire. But it, like you say, Jim, it does anchor, anchor it a little bit. And just when you're trying to mend your line, it, it stops the tail fly moving in the water as much. Yeah. A dropper length, buddy. How long are your dropper length? About five inches. That might, might be getting a little bit short. We've fished all day, but about five inches. Okay. Seems to be the, the length that doesn't wrap up too much without getting too short. And angles, you're kind of just covering water. I notice you're mending quite a lot. Yeah, along with other methods, people tend to ignore wet, wet fly. It's still your drag. If you get too much drag, you're just gonna get little fish. Right. But you've got to mend, tie and get as much dead drift as you can, and that's when you get your better fish. Yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Final question, have we got any for me tomorrow? <laughs> Plenty, Jim. <laughs> Plenty for you. <laughs>